Arkansas Black Hall of Fame Foundation believes that we must invest in our people and our communities. The foundation seeks to help establish an environment in which future generations of African American achievers with Arkansas roots will thrive and succeed. We don't know in which minds God has planted the seeds of genius. The cure for AIDS or cancer might have been planted in the mind of a child in the Arkansas Delta for all we know. This past spring, the Office of Engagement at the University of Arkansas, along with an alternative spring break program, came to our school to help our students learn how to build computers. And that was an experience for me because I never had the opportunity to take apart a computer and put it back together. And then also to take that computer home and use it to complete assignments or do work that they wouldn't have necessarily had the opportunity to do. And it's, it's kind of funny actually because the first question with my mom is, does it work? I responded back to her, yes it worked, and then she was like, hook it up, hook it up. And then, you know, I turned it on and plugged it up and everything, and it worked. I'd like to thank the Arkansas Black Hall of Fame for the opportunity they gave my students to build computers. I would like to thank the Arkansas Black Hall of Fame Foundation for donating the money that we may be able to learn more uh, about the computer parts. I never had a computer at home before this experience, so I would just like to thank you guys. In March of this year, we decided that we wanted to partner with the Maddie C. Stewart Foundation to bring the Choice Bus, a powerful dropout prevention tool. The Choice Bus shows half of a prison bus and the other a school bus. The end back of the bus is configured like a jail cell. Inside the bus is a video presentation of the consequences of not attending school. Dropping out of school or not completing high school then going to the streets and eventually ending up here. It's not worth it, because being here is not fun at all. We went to every middle school in Little Rock, Pine Bluff, Boo, Clarida, Brinkley, Mariana, Hughes, West Memphis. All of the feedback has been that we really made an impact. We're so excited for the support that we have received, especially the Arkansas Black Hall of Fame. This past summer, 15 students participated in the Summer Bridge program to help students make the transition from high school to college. I was really scared going to college. I didn't know what to expect. But once I got into the program, it really helped me to like experience college. We had a wonderful cast of instructors who really are bought into the concept. I'm a full-time adjunct professor in mathematics. And I also have an experience of being tutored with these young men. The energy was transferred over to me from working with some of the guys. They showed their dedication and passion. Well, some of the things I learned is come to class on time, get to know your teachers well, be more prepared in class, manage my time wisely, use study groups as an advantage, have a little network around. Talk more to people, because like they say, a closed mouth don't get fed. We had 100% completion rate of those students who enrolled within the class. Thank you, Arkansas Black Hall of Fame Foundation, for your support. Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm with South Arkansas Substance Abuse in El Dorado. We have just recently opened a specialized women's services. Most mothers who have been using are transient. They're going from um, other users' houses and staying temporarily. They're staying in hotels, on the streets. So there's a lot of distance put between the child and their mother. Um, and that's what's really important about having an opportunity to go to treatment with your child is you get to care for them uh, as a sober person. The money that we've received for the computer and the programs is just a great opportunity to allow them a chance to bond, to laugh together, to hug, to love each other, things that for some of them they may never have had. We're very grateful to the Arkansas Black Hall of Fame for providing us the opportunity to be able to provide this um, computer and the learning system for these children. Ladies, I'm truly honored to stand here before you this day because it's the end of 10 weeks, 10 weeks of Teen Promise Female Preparatory Workshops. What the Arkansas Black Hall of Fame Foundation did for us this year is allowed us to invest in helping young ladies prepare for job readiness. And what I have learned from the workshops is how to write a resume letter and how to write a cover letter. They're leaving this program feeling more confident about themselves and knowing how to go to a job interview and be able to compete 
and the interviewing really helps because soon I will be going to different colleges and I'll need to know how to interview properly. What makes you a good role model for young females? From uh, the Team Promise experience, I have been able to enhance my leadership, communication, and interviewing skills. I'm very thankful to the Arkansas Black Hall of Fame Foundation for believing in Team Promise and helping us help young females. The Arkansas Black Hall of Fame Foundation, with your help, can continue to change lives throughout Arkansas. Our grants have impacted lives in over 40 of Arkansas's 75 counties. We want to do better. We want to do more.